Hampshire. Um, I'm in nursing school and I currently work as a nursing assistant. When I look back to the place that I was at last year, the most significant change to me was the the mental health um, and the change in the mental health affected everything else in my life in a positive way. And where I'm at right now, I cannot imagine, and we just talked about this previously, I cannot imagine going back to laying in bed all day and feeling terrible about myself and having panic attacks, you know, if not every day, three to four times a week, I can't imagine being back in that place ever again. So now, now, whereas comparing my depression and anxiety from a year ago at this point, I would say from like a zero out of 10, it's gone to obviously things fluctuate and things happen in your life. Um, but I would say that I am very steady at an eight or a nine out of 10. I had gained um, a little bit of weight from you know, not being active for a few years, probably a year or so. Um, and I wasn't feeling good about myself physically. I, it wasn't helping mentally. It just, it wasn't helping at all to be in that position where I wasn't working out and I was gaining weight. And I was feeling sorry for myself, but I wasn't really doing anything about it. Now for the entire year, I've been working out four to five times a week, um, every week for the entire year. Total between just starting coaching and just getting into the routine and then the actual goal of losing weight, the total weight was 20 pounds that I lost. We like calculated out how much I was able to save throughout the year, um, like, from getting rid of the deficit and gaining the thousand dollars a month and it's an extra twenty four thousand dollars a year a lot of people you know they have a problem and they think i need to go to therapy and i had been through a few therapists when i was younger because the people you know my support system within my life at home had always recommended therapy and I had been going and going and going and spending time and spending money going to therapy just to recognize problems and not to actually solve them. Um, and I'm not the type of person that wants to sit down and talk about problems because they already consume so much of your everyday life that just adding an extra hour every week an extra two hours every week talking about them did not seem beneficial to me so rather than doing that spending the extra hour to two a week working on solving them and then continuing to take those steps and having somebody to check in with you and make sure that you're taking those steps is more helpful if you're somebody who's looking to actually solve your problems I would say if you are at the point in your life where you're considering life coaching, um, wondering the benefits of it, I mean, you just heard all of mine, so I hope that clears things up a little bit more, um, but absolutely working with Justin was probably the smartest thing I could have done for myself. If I was ever in that place again, I would 100% spend every dollar I had to feel how I feel right now compared to how I felt when I started. The benefits that I've gotten from coaching are just crazy. If a year ago today I was like praying to be in this position where I'm at now.